Okay, what we have here is the liquid level sensor. I'll show you the floats down here at the end of this long shaft. There's your floats. And the way we have this hooked up is there are four wires, two red, two yellow. The red wires go to the lowest float. The yellow wires go to the highest float. We have them hooked up on here, labeled two reds and two yellows. Uh, over here we have power, uh, 120 power coming in. And up here I have, um, here's your tank level alarm relay. Um, I'll show you on here, I have uh, power here coming in also, 120 volt power coming right up into here. Uh, off of here, these two alligator clips um, I have going into right there where it says TLA 500, the middle block. That's for your alarm. Uh, I have two meters hooked up, one for high, one for low. Um, and they are hooked on to these terminals as well, common and normally open. Um, you could switch to normally closed. Um, you just remove the screw um, from the open and put it into the closed. And same on this side if you want open or closed. Um, so we're plugged in, we're powered up. I have the floats. Um, one, th This one is up, so we're, we're assuming the level is somewhere here in the middle. Um, if the level were to drop and this float were to go down, the alarm sounds. I'll silence the alarm. It's kind of loud. Uh, the light stays on, but you can silence the alarm, um, telling you you have a low level. When this float comes back up, the alarm light you'll see has gone off, indicating that we are in in the middle here somewhere with our liquid. Uh, if the liquid were to come up here and this float were to rise, the alarm sounds again, letting you know you've reached a high level. Um, and to do something about that, if this float comes down, you'll see the alarm light is off. Um, then we'll switch to the um, relays. I'm just going to turn on our, uh, for continuity, turn these on. Um, you can see they're both activated right now. Um, Let me put that down, silence the alarm, you can hear the buzzer, it's continuity, so that uh, the relay output is activated. Um, as I move the float, you can hear the relay output opening or closing. So that's your high level relay output right here, high level. Open, close, open, close as you move the float up or down. I have the alarm silenced, that's why we don't hear that. Demonstrate the low level. put that up and silence the alarm just for demonstration purposes up down up down 
So this is activating the low alarm. You can hear the low alarm relay output is activated by moving the float. So that's a dry contact relay output right there. Two, one, one for low, one for high. You can go to your fire alarm panel and it's a dry contact. So it's either open or closed. I have them on the opens, but you can wire it to the closed if you need it. Um, this bottom float, I added additional weight to the float. So it's heavier now and it should sink in your oil. I tested it in the peanut oil at about a 0.92 specific gravity. So uh, if you have any questions, um, let me know. But all in all, everything seems to be working just well.